Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to the start of a new campaign in the Pax Britannica an Imperial Timeline mod for Hearts of Iron 4 in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Republic of France led by some, some guy named Jacques. If you would like to read about that, please go right ahead, but it was born apparently in the 19th century. We'll talk about an evening in Paris. With the triumvirates, political dominance all but guaranteed and Dory ought to effectively being both president and prime minister of France the days coming will undoubtedly be a literal and figurative mess. The left nationalists and the monarchists are aware of Doriot's unhinged power and as of recently, rumors have spread that the SP is planning a coup in support of him. Whatever the case may be, one, f one thing for sure is that the future of France will be decided by the days following and the rest of the world for that matter. Was prison in the halls of Paris, the night before Paris. Dragged out in the middle of the night wearing only his underpants and a robe. The victim smelled of a gross, grossly mix of sweat and piss. It was rather embarrassing circumstance to be in. The SP officer and his goons began to laugh hysterically. Somewhere in Paris, on a quiet suburban street, stood four men in uniform staring at a hopeless figure of a man on the ground, begging like a dog for mercy. The men simply continued the rampage of laughter until the SP officer finally brought himself under control. The soldiers quickly shut themselves up, and at the moment of the time, the only sound that could be heard was the sobbing of the victim in the cage or barking of a street mob. Please, 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 I beg of you. I gave everything to the party, cried the victim, but the perpetrator showed no remorse. <clears throat> the victim's mind raced with thoughts, and the stench of fear began to become unbearable to the officer. His hands crawled down on his right leg, and came to a complete stop resting itself on the belt of a holster. The victim's crying only escalated as a result of it, in the, and in the process of shut the man up, a soldier knocked him over the head with the butt of his rifle. The crying finally stopped, and only a few snobs and sniffs remained. The officer drawed, drew his pistol to the forehead of the victim. Silence, complete silence, and followed. The streets of Paris heard a thud that night, and a thousand thuds were soon to follow. We live in such enlightened times in anti-Semitic riots. Yay! Recent reports from police commissariats and urban department, departments around the nation, along with reports from the countryside from our gendarmerie, paint a horrifying picture. From Paris to Toulon, citizens have been rioting over perceived injustices against the French people brought upon them by the so-called Jewish devils. Though our governors often use anti-Semitic rhetoric and pass to drum up popular support, these scenes of savage ethnic violence are certainly not what we imagined. With pogroms and riots causing fires and mass death and injury in Jewish quarters and villages all around France, a recent investigation by our internal security forces have found that the culprit seems to be a new appointment to the leadership of the Commissariat General for the Jewish Affairs. Though much of our government has little love for the Jews, there's also been objection to these senseless acts of violence sponsored by the apparatus of our own government. Sadly, there's much we can do. Replacing the leadership of the Commissariat General might now turn our own people against us. All we can do is sit in horror, hope this war ends, or this ends sooner rather than later. What have we done? The morning after. <clears throat> The streets of Paris are lay disturbingly quiet. Nothing but the sound of wind can be heard. These are very streets tell folly stories, at least one would think. Fresh fruit stalls are covered in blood, the drains clogged with rubbish, and the smell rats with rot, and yet France is finally free. Whispers in the halls of Paris. Since the ascension of the Triumvirate, there has been significant political tension between the various factions. Over the last few weeks, concerns have been raised among the monarchist and left nationalist factions of the government that Dorat's ultra-nationalists may be plotting a coup. Though these are only rumors at the moment, there is a legitimate threat that the SP is under pro- under the pro-nationalist Dar Darnand, may attempt to leverage a considerable authority to back Dora's plans. Despotism, neo-imperialists, oh, PRN. Doriot's coup. I have no idea, so let's go with that one. Front Populaire Francois. The Italian Civil War. Each breath or cold, or each breath the minister gave between words only emphasized the unfortunate reality of war. It was as if each breath was a desperate plea for assistance directed to the garrison head near the upper Savoy border for help of any kind. The disciplines of the ISRF would hang for crimes against the state if they were to lose the war. If they were, if they were to lose the war, and both the garrison head and minister knew this, though one clearly on the short end of the stick. He didn't beg twice. His eyes did all the talking. The message was very clear. The garrison head let it back his head let back in his rickety chair and pondered for a moment. <clears throat> Volunteers, maybe? Two divisions, cool. Now, um, can we send... What are these tanks like? 12 combat width? Would that be okay? You know what, just in case. Uh, you guys are 18. Actually, that's not bad. What's on the 18 ones? That's not bad. You know, we'll send one of you and we'll send a horse. Why not? Let's see what we can do. Infantry expert. Charles no guy. No guess. No guys. No dudes. Um, how many planets we sent? A hundred, exactly a hundred. So what if we sent a hundred fighters? Report of SP mobilization. Ah, that's why we sent all hundred fighters. Whether the claims are true or not, the fact that the city streets lie empty is t telling us something. 
Individuals have gone missing at an absurd rate and concerns are mounting regarding the SP. Dernand hasn't been seen for the past three days and his whereabouts are unknown. If all plays at hand, then Maras and Armand best be worried, given their precarious positions in the event of this hypothetical coup. Despite the internal panic, local authorities have maintained a neutral stance on the topic, promising no loyalty to either of the three candidates. Whether such promises are valid is unknown, and some have even begun to suspect that Constabulary is under Dorit's arm. I guess we're going to get this guy. Oh. Oh, what's this? I'm also using state tool mod as well as uh, player of the peace conferences, but national fervor is 33%. Oh, look at that. Well, it's kind of interesting. Low, it's low right now, hurts us. Getting medium, we want very high ones. And then current factionalism is 73%. Well, that's kind of different. It's kind of like that. We need low factionalism, though. Oh. Fervor will also take a buy variable of plus one every month, so to make sure to keep it maintained. Oh, and we also get more tactics. If we really wanted to. That's fine. The Party of Doctrine. France has been united under the banner of the popular party since the death of Marcel Dayot in 1929. Though the most extreme proposals have been constrained by the coalition with the rest restorationists, there are many policies that must be established and things that must be managed by the government in order to maintain support. Oh. Stage political rally is not bad. This is infrastructure. Total un percentage of unemployed French citizens. Oh, where's unemployment? What is this? Air experience? No, 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 no. We have development here. Our promises to keep. Unemployment says one percent. Oh well, I guess it's right there, but still. And then inter-service rivalry. Dorit sends out the lists. Despite the lack of discipline, the SP proved to be a brutally effective mob. Their tactics were undoubtedly questionable. When times of great strife, the rules of war, uh, the rules of war change, and the definition of sane in an insane world is quite the ironic remark. Men tormented, both physically and mentally, restored to the state by a police force. Here they get avenge all years of pain with ill jurisdiction. They were presents, birth fearful stares in the least humane ways possible. After all, everyone knew their purpose, but they simply wondered who. Who would be their next victim? Would it be a Jew, a drunk, or a young woman? They were beasts of no nation with no grand moral leader. No father or mothers, no job opportunities. They were the perfect killing machines, and they kill. They did. When Dora handed Arnan the list, his henchmen saw the elevated. Of the untold stories they were about to write, the rapes and murders of thousands was about to take place, and not even God knew how to handle the situation, yet he showed pity like all the rest. So with this, several areas of France of the French government are dominated by two major factions, the military and security public, the SP. The militarists, naturally, represent the interests of the French armed forces, particularly the army navy. Opposing the militarists is the Sécurité Publique, the paramilitary arm of the French Popular Party. These two factions harbor a deep distrust of one another, and the military seeing the SP as too fanatical, and the SP seeing the military as ideological fifth columnists. Both factions wish to see their influence dominant in the French government. However, if either faction gains too much political power, it could lead to dramatic consequences for the current ruling party. Despite this, shifting power to either faction can grant bonuses to the military or political scene, while keeping them balanced will only provide small, very small gains. We must carefully consider which faction we wish to empower, if any. Duck can fit with a dash of violence. <clears throat> As night falls over Paris, members of the Charles Maurras' Action Francois party assemble for the annual party meeting at Paris Dining Hall. Uh, though there have been fears of political violence, potential violence at the hands of the pro dorit militias, little has seemingly happened over the past weeks to change Maurras' plans. The focus of this evening's meeting is the prospect of aligning with the Armandist faction of the FBF in order to unseat Doriot. Although Armand holds little love for the former monarchy, Maurras has promised reforms and concessions to the left nationalists in exchange for the support. A final concern before the meeting begins is the issue of security. Given the insistent mood of paranoia that has fallen over Paris, it seems only natural to provide some degree of security to the attendees. Alternatively, as a means to strengthen the alliance with the left nationals, they could be armed to provide security for the event. Allowing local authorities? Yeah, because we keep losing political power and stuff. No, as we just have none. The SBS assault the meeting. Oh no! The Trevor had met in the Palace of Versailles to primarily discuss Bounce power. Tensions were high, but Armand and Maras were confident that Dorothy's power was weakening by the second. Even if the SPA had circled the table, the rumors of Dardan's disappearance and inter-service rivalry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to host the first of many meetings between us. The future of France lays in our hands, and dare say the future of Europe. Either side looked at each other with confirming eyes, but Doriot's true intentions yet had yet to be revealed. After a long and detailed speech, Doriot rose his one class in celebration. A toast to the future of France, he pronounced. But by the time Maras and Armand had even reached for the glasses, Darnan had reached the door to the dining room with a handful of SP goons. Doriot stood still, drinking his wine whilst watching the two biggest uh, political hurdles get shuffled away into some back alley, where they would meet their eventual death after a bloody uh, beating. Viva la Marchelle! <clears throat> Ultra-national dictatorship, cool. Um, and we'll get rid of the crumbling coalition. We have better revanchism, security public, and military SP rivalry balanced. Nice. If you want to read about this one, please go ahead. New French man. Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, public meetings banned. 
Ooh, that's not terrible. Code personality? Not bad. Let's do uh, Triumph de la Volonté. The well, ultimate will of the French people is victory. And the ultimate ex expression of, his said, of said will is the party. And the ultimate expression of the party is a leader. New feminism. Intensify anti germanism Nice. Code of personality. And Doriot, the chairman of a party. Uh, we have some kind of rare and precious leader who does not come along very often. Or a leader who has given his heart, all his knowledge, skills, ability to serve the cause of liberation of the French people, as well as the new French man. The new French man is envisioned by Doriot as a selfless family man. Devoted to the party and willing to wait, lay down his life for his nation. Foundation's already in the population. All it needs is a little push. Um, get more war support. Get more new imperialists. So really, despotist front populaire Francois. Front populaire Francois. Oh, new imperialist despotist. It's fine. Enter the SP. Which are the generals? Yeah, I don't really care about that stuff. You two arms factors. That's actually really good. I want to do more civvies, though, but we can't really do that, can we? Lower factionalism, which we do want to do. Because right now it's currently... 69. What, what, is, a, what is a number to get lower medium? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. And then we have this up here, too. Conduct training exercises. Uh, how are we doing with that? Yeah, nothing. Okay, that's going to wait. Go first. That's fine. Well, you know what? Military factories... Because we're building some civvies. French Republic falls, a new order is risen. We're shelving the SP leadership. With the future safely uh, secured, the question of the leadership of the SP has come up. <clears throat> Darnan has served a vital role in the bid for power, and even more vital one in the triumvirate's rise of power. However, history is all too influential, full of influential individuals. Taking power, it might be wise to expose this threat while it still hangs low. Serve its purposes? Okay. French revanchism? State capitalism? Civilian economy. Oh, that's not good. We definitely will go to partial mobilization. We might be able to get there eventually. Uh, is there anything for mobilization? Mobilization. Totem. Oh, wow. Totem mobilization. Oh. Remilitarize Lorraine. Oh, we can go and do that already. Oh, that's nice. Um, what is this? Annex Zero. Oh, Anne Zero. The Reconstruction Culture. Oh, crap. A new France from the Ashes. It's not bad. Arvantia's Fervor. Oh, that's really good. Carolingian Legacy. Ooh. Racial hierarchy, mass deportation, destiny manifesto, manifesta. You get a research slot. That's good. The continental system, of course. Uh, what is this? New French economy. Ooh, that might be really good to do, actually. Yeah. Labor camps. Ooh. Party state. Ah. And remilitarize Lorraine. A friend Spain develop the collaborator states. Reform the military. Uh, maybe we'll start doing that just a little bit. Say the French military is lacking. Reports indicate gridlock among top leaders in the army. Generals squabble amongst each other. Willing to cut throats instead of work together. The Admiralty is divided on how to use the Navy. And the French Air Force is laughable. We must investigate this further lest we embarrass ourselves further. Well groomed. I like grooming. Hmm. Workers protest. Some cities in the workers in the Bo city of Bordeaux protest against a lack of proper safety regulations within the workplace. Is that continuing uh, neglect of... Uh, from Spears as a source of problem, and they're demanding that the po French Popular Front do something about it. Some informants have notified local SP authorities that some workers used to belong to anti triumvirate political parties, and that such evidence provides enough jurisdiction for crackdown. How do we respond? Just once. Oh, more factionalism? No. Defunct liberalism. The process of political eradication is no easy feat. Uh, through victory, can. Though victory can has been achieved, many far left and liberal based ideologies are becoming extinct products of a bygone era. Popularity for the FPF is rising, even the conservative flock into the silk god neo imperialist ideology. The need for forceful conversion still remains fairly limited, boosting approval and recognition as the true sons of France. Not even the Anglos and Germans enjoy such political popularity, then they call themselves stable democracies. How laughable. We're the true sons of France. As we should be. The eternal state. I don't know, we'll see how we're going to get that. As the clocks fell throughout France, chime 12 o'clock in the afternoon, a silence fell in the state. When the last bell made its final sound, everyone turned on the radio. The French president was about to hold his immortalizing speech, and this one will go down in history books. Today I speak to you all with a great pleasure, as France has reached a new era. Our revolutions have finally reached their goal and served us well, but now it's time to endorse new selves and celebrate profusely and to loosely. Quote my great colleague, Louis Aragon, Well, with one of his works, I believe you shall enjoy. <clears throat> 
What cares if actually all the colors be false? One would swear if it was us if he, if he saw one. Were we willing to believe in apparitions, I hear the prelude of the marching in the pip. It's the opera of our beliefs and winnings, but it was only the beginnings. Those balconies ablaze, those bronze roofs, all of our actions now pr proofs. Are capable and shall not enter a state of demise. I am your dancer leading us while swinging a tambourine, and now no longer a dream. I have awakened and rubbed my eyes. And we see new France we have created collectively. I must say respectively, we are exiles no more. Unified under an outcome. Now, unified now under culture and ethnicity, just like a time before, I dreamt of France like this during night, day, and boredom. Celebration is now our duty, just like it is to protect a new state. Now let us celebrate. Viva la France. So, about the population, stuff like that. Versus factionalism. Um, yeah. Hmm. Youth pioneers. Well, which one are we? We are near imperialists. But then again, I want to save our political power. Even though, yeah, probably best to wait. Even these guys fall, we'll do the best we can. The Commissaire General for Jewish Affairs. Uh, since the glorious Re National Revolution first began, the SPF stood as a sword and shield of the French people, putting fear into the, her enemies, both domestic and abroad. Propaganda. Uh, the iron ranks bring hundreds of recruits in daily, and the SP man has become synonymous with what it means to be a true French man, one who's ready to fight and die to protect a God given land and the beautiful race and culture. Uh, make sure we don't die here. Unfortunately, the real uh, state of the SP is perhaps a bit less glamorous than what a propaganda ministry would like to paint him as. Though the elite units of the SP can even the most hardened warriors of the Habsburg dogs of the perfidious uh, Albion running and sent them running, the majority seem to act like barbarians committing petty crimes against their own citizens, especially against those that practice the Jewish religion. Though our government has previously instituted certain laws intending to reduce our pervasive influence of the Jews, whom we consider inherently untrustworthy and anti-French, those criminal acts are poorly, poorly upon our great nation. A compromise will need to be made with the brave boys of the SP, perhaps by offering their leader the chair of the newly created Commissariat General General for Jewish Affairs, we can make sure that Jewish questions are resolved in a civilized and peaceful manner. We trust that discipline and order will be restored to the SP regiments in short order. Hatred has its limits, or does it? We're going to do that one uh, over here. What's over here? The New World Order. So we have to win. Personality test. With France's destiny so young, we need to wonder what Jacques Doriot has planned for the nation. They also what kind of person Jacques Doriot truly is behind all those propagandistic portrayals that people have become so used to. Making a trade now, although you pick certain options via decisions, events, and a new focus that would otherwise be a close off. Charismatic. Intelligent. Ambitious. I like ambitious. But I like charismatic. Because how do you become a leader without being charismatic? So let's go with that one. New French economy. With war on the horizon, it's in our greatest interest to begin reinvigorating our industry with new life, which will ensure a steady si uh, supply of steel, men, and power for anything our war economy demands. Land ships, rifles, all in all sorts will be readily available for our army. On the home front, we will provide all necessary needs and wants, provided by the understand who holds the pr priorities in this great times of great struggle. A new home for the degenerate. Before we could realize it, Antoine was forcibly picking up by, picked up again by the same soldiers that pulled him onto the military truck that fateful night. With his knees painfully scraping over the dirty cold ground, Antoine received a hard fist to his jaw. Your feet still work, pig. Don't try and be petty. The soldier holding his left arm shouted. With the cold dawn setting in, Antoine reached the large facility on the outskirts of some random forest in the French countryside. The sounds of toiling men and women were drowned out by the sounds of iron doors and wooden locks or stocks of guns seeing flesh. Before he could probably take in the atmosphere, Antoine was thrown into what looked like a temporary holding cell. A door behind him was shut and was left in the dark. Yet he still wasn't alone. The other soul was also in this dark room, his eyes, or her eyes, glowing with a small bit of light that came from the, into this room through the small window. Are you all right? He or she asked. A soft hand touched Anton's elbow, feeling a bit of skin that was scraped off of him by the fall into his new home. I would have helped you, but there's a lot, even some linen I could use to patch you up. It was nice at le that at least. Some people haven't lost humanity in these trying times, Antoine thought. Before he could reply, the light from the room dimmed as the man stood behind it. Rest while you can. Tomorrow's your first day of labor. Sweet home, sweet home. Of course, we still need to do these focuses, but we can do new feminism as well. Um, and I do want to get through here, but reconstruction culture will be active during this focus. Oh, that's fine, actually. Um, Neo prism support. Not bad. I mean, I do want to make sure we get enough stuff here, too. Quadrupods? Yes, please. A Dazanio government falls, which sucks. Um, let's see if we get our guys back, which is more important. Armor wise, we'll be okay. 1933, of course. Let's get some support weapons. And more industry, if possible. Because I do want some quadrupods. Towards the chain. Right. Majority. Um, I'll get much more involved here. Whoa. And Italy goes side with them, which sucks. Maybe be a little bit of an issue for us, probably. Jacobins. We definitely don't like Jacobins. And these ships are just kind of okay. They're not great. They're just really just okay. France is a lot of sun. Ricard or Richard had often overheard the rumors that his parents shared with the other Anglo neighbors. Often. They talked about the one particular old man. Still in a small villain, the house got some Montreal. 
Well, clearly the French man did not speak in a particular Quebec dialect of the region, but in a Parisian one. That is, if he ever spoke to you, generally he just mumbled while rocking in his chair with his wife, watching over his modest estate. Threats in Bulgaria are often exchanged between him and the locals, many of the Quebecois, or Quebec boys, and the Anglo. The main rumor Ricard knows about the old Mr. Phillips is that people think he might have been in the military. Some swore they've seen the man walk through the front garden in a military uniform, unlike any other unlike any on the entire American continent, his badge is sparkling in the low spring sun. As he walked along the estate, Richard peeks through the fence for a second. There saw Mr. Phillip, completely alone, instead of his military uniform or the glorious badges he may have won during the war, the old man stared at a piece of torn cloth, painted in blue, red, and white. Richard swore that he saw a single uh, tear drop from his old face before Mr. Phillips fought on peeking through the fence, and as often as he did, the old man threatened many things that happened to Richard's mother. Where are you? Oh, what are you? An economy of castes. Peculiar institutions. A French economy. Oh, our session. Come out, you black and tans. <coughs> Excuse me. But sweat fills the worker's forehead as he works his machinery. His head is filled with noise, his eyes with stress, and muscles filled with anger. The worker is angry at his stupid job, but he needs to do his job to survive. Luckily for him, however, his shift is almost over. Unluckily, though, from the balcony of the administrative office, the worker's boss shouts, I'll be working a few extra hours today when you hit the quotas, as otherwise we might go bankrupt. All the workers shout for up anger, but follow their boss's orders. A sad reality for most French workers, harsh hours, harsh quotas, and harsh lives. Lift up your sleeve and put your backs into it. Slavery allowed. Maintain racial bias. M migrate Rhenish industries. Redeem political prisoners. Import German labor. Oh, integration of the Rhineland. Oh boy. Rearmament campaign. Oh, it goes. Oh, okay. So this is good, really good. So we don't have to spend political power to get to this one, which is very good. So getting there, rushing towards that would probably be really good. Oh, the Auto Metro. Okay. Well, let's do autarky. If France is a. To last war with half the globe, though, she must rely on herself and herself only. Advancements in steel work and general improvement into France's industry will help alleviate the initial quality of life drop we may experience, but in time, a gradual rise will follow, and even, even surpassing your current GDP stats with the introduction of new, conquered economies. So 40 versus 70. You use the same amount of civvies, but you get double the arms factories. Balanced. Well, I mean, right, we saw earlier we are neo imperialists right now. Neo imperialists, ten percent more. Division training time goes down. Recovery rate. Oh, SP political officers. Would you get more factionalism? Well, could be worse. Heavy infrastructure. Get more. Get more millies. We're just going to need them. We're just going to straight up need them. Well, the personality is really nice, so lower factionals would be nice. This bounce a vein of hope for the digerent. The rhythm of steel and stone through, uh, through, uh, echoed throughout the quarry localized in the labor camp, as Antoine's pickaxe followed the pattern of the other undesirable stuck there. It was a couple of months since he had been thrown into the temporary holding facility, and he had been then moved to the crowded barracks near the eastern side of the camp. Once there, he was given a number and stripped of his old clothes, having to work, sleep, and eat in something that barely resembles clothing. He was, however, fortunate enough to sleep in the eastern barracks instead of the western, as a recent cholera outbreak had wiped half of the population there. So we talked about a plant outbreak to free up space for more undesirables, but the hygiene was honestly so poor in the camp that it could have gone either way. The last stone broken. Antoine got his food and ate near, alone near the fence. From there he could see the outskirts of the forest, a, tense, uh, a tease of freedom, of hope. As he picked up another piece of his dry bread, someone came up to him wearing the same cloth he wore. Sitting down next to him, Antoine recognized the man that just approached him. It was the same soul he had met months ago in the holding cell. Good to see that you're still alive, Antoine. How's work? <clears throat> After a short amount of chit chat between the two, the man that he now knew called or calls or was calling Michael started to look serious. Looking around, and Michael sneakily gave Antoine another piece of bread before continuing. I'm guessing that you aren't looking to waste your life in this prison camp, so I have another offer to propose. I've assembled a, a few of the others with a plan to leave this place without raising suspicion. We have a man on the outside that has promised a trip outside of France, presumably to Switzerland. We don't have much room, but we can do someone like you to help us get out of here. Antoine didn't skip a heartbeat and answered, "All right, let's get out of here. Maybe there's a chance." And echoes of corruption. Rumors have spread that certain individuals within administrative sectors of our government are accepting bribes for turning a blind eye at illegal activities, although mine are relatively harmless, such as corruption. Such corruption could grow if left unattended to. Some even say that such corruption is starting to bleed into the armed forces. How do we respond? Let him be. A little out of pocket money won't hurt. Because your leader is charismatic? Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love it. It's like an overall blues when they have like leader traits. I love that. An incredible amount. Yes, 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 yes. More despotism. Military budget increase, more despotism. Cool. Autarky. We gotta go autarkic. 
rearmament campaigns. The new hegemony of France, <clears throat> or at least Europe, will require a strong and able army to enforce their demands. New factories, technologies, and economic theories must be implemented if France is truly going to be the new master of Europe. From Paris to London to Frankfurt, all will see their ground beauty and all will fear on rebel might. Rearmament goals. Uh, uh, did we wait for that? So this will be fine. <clears throat> Excuse me, we probably want to start working on like getting like army offense people. Gamelan, that's not very much, I'll be honest. Army regrouping, that's better. Infantry, yeah, that's definitely the best one to do. Maxine Wagon, we need 100 political power, so we'll definitely go for that next. But I love how short these focuses are. It's only 33 still, but still. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, I forgot about this. My bad. Oh, shnikes. My bad. My bad, my bad. I was more focused on everything else. And where are we supposed to get over here? Oh. Irish Rebellion. Oh, whoops, my bad. Well, oh well. The Octometra. Let me see his plan. The degenerate finds no hope. Under the light of the moon, they had escaped their camp. Antoine, Michael, and a couple of other men were now hidden in a forest near the camp. And uh, in the forest near the camp, running barefoot through the mud and the stones. It would be long before the camp security would notice prisoners missing, so they only had a few hours to reach Michael's contact. Swiftly yet quietly, the men sneaked through the forest, watching for fallen branches and crunchy leaves. Despite the darkness, the moon allowed them to be stealthy. At the end of the night, as the sun broke through the morning dawn, they finally reached open plains. Michael pointed out across the grass to a figure standing there waving. Our contact, he's the one willing to stow us away on a train to Switzerland. A sense of celebration filled Antoine, and that's when the first man fell. Loud bangs ringed through the fort as French soldiers gave the way their position. It was an ambush. Our contact had betrayed us. Bullets flew across the field, Michael barely breathing due to the wound in his chest. But Antoine his last words, take care, Antoine. Anton could not cry now, so he ran, hidden behind tall grass, bushes, and trees. He ran. His far seat started bleeding, but he did not carry only ram. After hours of running, Anton collapsed. He was in the middle of nowhere with no one else. All the others were presumably dead, and he was alone. For the first seven months, Anton cried. Hope turns to ash. As it should. Naval augments. Oh, this is different. That's actually colored now. I'll go with some of this. New factory opening in Paris. A steel, new steel manufacturing plant in Paris held a grand opening today. Hundreds of local residents flocked to, to see the tourist-like exhibition that the business owner held. Workers openly demonstrated how the machines worked, with many individuals being awed by the impressive scale of both the furnaces and assembly lines. During a speech that was being given by a foreman, and a small boy raised his hand and politely asked if he could work here. The factory subsequently filled with cheerful laughs, and the young lad's face turned a bright red. Wonderful. Awesome. Just awesome. A couple of wars are going on right now. The British Vietnamese, Arab Succession, Manchurian Campaign, Chinese Revolution. Um, can we even send volunteers? We can send one. They might reject us, but we can try it. No, they allow us. Do we care about either one? Imperial faction hardliners, reactionaries versus despotists? Uh, I'm gonna say I think these guys are gonna lose. So listen, we'll do you guys maybe? Just because I want to make sure we get enough army XP and experience and stuff like that. So, you guys who said 129, it's not bad. Um, there you go. Not sure if you can even reach the front lines, but whatever. And then tactical bombers. Such records, all right. We're taking a while to get there, so that's fine. Vacation. That's 14 days. That's actually not bad at all. More modern military. Thanks to a military exercise, we now have a better military. Military militarization will increase. Nice. Where are we out for the military too? Oh, we're fully modernized. Oh, so we don't even have to worry about that at all. Fully westernized. So the military stuff is done. Underperforming economy. We gotta fix that up. Um, where are we at? So for you, you just gotta stay here, hang out, don't lose. Suck on a bunch of army XP. You guys are can't go in there. Um, looks like the supplies really bad. And oh yeah, good god, it's really bad in some of these areas. I'm um, just gonna hang out. See what you can do. If we get to do too much, that's okay. Mm. SP loyalties. No trust. Alright. The new French man. 
Oh, what are we unlocking on here? Rearmament campaigns. French Minister of War has announced the need for massive military buildup, exciting France rather lacks lacking military industrial capabilities when compared to the likes of Britain and France, or Britain and Germany. The request for greater military funding has been made urgent and is being reshuffled to be on the top of our economic priorities list. We'll not be embarrassed again. <clears throat> Uh, Greasy speed's not bad. Ooh, that's not good. That's not. That's not bad to get either. Steelworks. Ooh. Economic health. I want to do all this stuff. I want more civvies though. We can build the civvies. While build, just getting those free millies. But I want to keep going down through here too. Intensify anti-Germanism. The single greatest threat to new France, the German not only occupies the eastern lands, he occupies the minds of many of our people. In order to solve this crisis, we must begin a campaign to teach people about the true extent of the threat they face. American Free Corps. Well, only found itself in an economic slump post the Great War. With much of the nation turned to ash as a consequence of the devastating technologies that were released upon the nation and stationed troops that found it hard to justify why the heck they were setting up tents next to puddles of toxic waste. The added issue of the UK not paying the full wages of the stationed American troops due to the economic devastation from the Great War further strained ties between the Commonwealth and Great Britain. <clears throat> Eventually, many Americans crossed into France and the thousands after hearing promises of greater employment and pay. This affection has also been the worst of its kind in all of British American history, military history. Additionally, the persuasion of far-right individuals have fulfilled these lost men with hope for a new home and the legacy of one they're ready to die for if so needed. <clears throat> as long as they swear loyalty to France, that's all we care about. All right, if you'll, God dang it, look at this. Could be worse, I guess. There you go. <clears throat> my apologies, oh boy. And my goodness, we're gonna need some serious fuel. Let's grab some fuel. We, have, we literally have none. It's not much, but we'll take whatever we can use. Or she's these victorious, huh? You just kind of hang out. Oh. <coughs> Support weapon's nice. MRE, sure. You French man. Kindness is the language of the people. It had been a couple of weeks since the ambush, yet you would not be able to tell that from Anton alone. His face was pale and it nurtured wrinkles around his bloodshot eyes. And yet he did not give up. He, he got away and would fight for his freedom. Despite his uh, mental state, Anton hadn't given up. Nothing, on, nothing more than his bleeding feet had reached Calais, and the biggest city near the Franco-British seaboard, yet as it wanted fugitive. He could not simply walk into Calais and expect to be treated well. He, has, he would most likely be shot on sight if people found out. So he waited for the sun to set, scavenging food during the night and resting in an abandoned barn outside the city. The ritual went on for a few weeks, but Anton could not afford to stay too long in this position. People would find out eventually of his shenanigans. So he had hatched a last ditch suicide plan. If this would not work, he was a dead man. That night he didn't go to Calais to scavenge. Running around the semi business port, Anton finally found what he was looking for a British ship preparing to return to Dover. Yet the vessel was not very large and most likely not one for trade. So going away would be fairly risky for such a small boat, and yet he could always try. Leaving a bloody trail footprint, Anton entered the deck of the ship and hid away in a cupboard. Before he could feel the ship depart, however, the cupboard was open. Two curious eyes stared at Antoine, and Antoine stared back. In a heavy North England accent, the man with the curious eye asked, Who are you and just sitting in this cupboard? Antoine did not understand English, but did not stop him pleading in French. Tears swell up, even if the English did not seem to understand him. His hands full of dirt, Antoine pleaded and pleaded, to, stopping to take a breath here and there, but the English sailor stopped him. I do not necessarily understand what you're saying, but I know a man fearing for his life when I see one. Again, Antoine did not understand, but the sailor tried to calm him down. He pointed at the deck and made a gesture to keep quiet. For the first time since he was forcibly detained, Antoine felt good. And as the sailor closed the cupboard, planning to keep it a secret until he reached Dover, tears fell from Antoine's cheeks. Not a fear, anger, despair, but joy. Finally, Antoine was free. In the times of great madness, humanity still stands strong, depending on who you ask. I do want to remilitarize it, but we'll see. Um, integrate the economies of Corsica. Eh. The Marine Nacional, Army de Terra, Mobile Warfare. Yes. Oh, Mobile Warfare, Amasto, that's all we get? Well, I guess we're going to go Mobile Warfare, I guess. Hmm. Quick campaign. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be very quick. Oh, the end of time as well. Holy crap. Okay. Well then. <clears throat> of course, we have the anti Germanism. And then we'll have new feminism. In contrast to the degenerate old feminism of the past, the new feminism advocated by Doria encourages women to serve their natural roles as homemaker and child bearers with honor and pride. As they should. Do the best you can here. That's all I ask. Do the best you can. You guys doing actually really darn well. 
Because these guys probably have no supplies. Well, he's definitely learning, which is good. Um, increase this more. We need to. We want to make some actual good heavy ship hulls. So, uh, some new batteries. Aircraft facilities are fine. God dang it. We're so close. Suspicious citizen number, 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 named Julian. Features well, white pale skin with brown hair and blue eyes. Look at that. Uh, he's often found wearing trench coat like clothing, through, though, and may be attributed to his recent like, actions as advisor requests locals to question locals to gain further knowledge. Reasoning. Eyewitnesses accounts of Mr. Coltier, entering a suspected Jewish safe haven on numerous occasions. Each occasion he is seen holding provisions of all sorts, albeit with no definitive knowledge on why he is bringing such provisions into his place of work when questioned by local authorities. He is suspected to be harboring Jews in his clothing store that he owns through recent raid has found nothing of confirming material. More investigation may be required to reach suspected results. His mother was also recently hanged for failure to comply with orders given by the SP individuals. Chief Com Commissioner has recommended that Mr. Coltier be removed despite the lacking intel Confirm confirmation code. Blah 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 blah. This person will be considered dead upon the handing of his file unless otherwise advised. Find them now. I don't know, should we be balanced or should we just keep it the way it is? Security public versus military faction. Let me know what we should do in the comments below. I'm open to either one, really. Despotism. Purge militarists. Maybe on we'll new imperils though. But I'll let you guys decide. I just want more arms factories and lowering the unemployment would be very good as well. Lower factionalism. You know what? At this point, you know what? We haven't done it yet, so. Why not? <clears throat> and maybe we'll grab a naval guy next, too. And and I say it all. Uh, the decree of the Supreme Leader Doria, soldiers of the SPF descend upon towns and cities across the nation in order to destroy the three degenerate olds, old art, old faith, and old elites. In place of these ancient traditions will be new French culture, designed to promote the common good interests of the people. The dead march west. Cool. How are the Vietnamese volunteers doing? Yeah, they're doing alright still. You guys are just attacking all willy nilly, which is fine with me. We get army XP and hopefully something like that. If anything, is there an airbase at all? I mean, he's learning, which is I love. New France brought from the ashes. Um, it's another natural spirit. Look at that. As long as, as long last French people have stood up, rejecting foreign ideals and old degeneracy, we're now in a position to finally push our vision of a reconstructed French uh, society. In the meantime, uh, remilitarize Lorraine? Do you want to say anything? We can wait for that. We can definitely wait for that one, so. I want to help, help do uh, a, a lot of this stuff, like economic health. I think that'd be good. Four more arms factors are really strong. Dig sites. Excavation. An industry that never sleeps. Pride in our work. Poverty. From Center, you know, it's economic health. Yeah, I like the economic health stuff a lot. So, underground factories. We must account for the fact that the rival powers may surpass France in the battle for the heavens. If so, the industry will become vulnerable to aerial bombardment. Constructing underground factories will address half the issue, with the other half being how do we retake the skies? Nice. 33 still. I'll uh, get some extraction. Make sure we get some... We can't do this stuff yet either, so that sucks, but that's okay. I did not forget about this. And... Automax Artillery. Cultural Reconstruction, Edict on Degenerate Art. The Grand Cultural Reconstruction has begun. Speaking before an assembled crowd at the Louvre, Grand Marshal Doria announced the beginning of the Cultural Reconstruction of the French State. The Marshal declared that all forms of so-called degenerate art were to be destroyed for a wave of new French artistic expression, guided by the FPF. The Louvre, he declared, would be the just beginning this new rebuilding of the traditional French culture, free from decadence and immor immortality of the Bourbons. Following this announcement, SP militants have begun ransacking museums and art galleries throughout Paris and the country, destroying and looting countless, countless amounts of priceless works. In the Louvre alone, much of the Republican era modern art has been destroyed, though many of the museum's most important pieces were quietly evacuated before the SP could invade. Most notably, uh, Da Vinci's Mona Lisa was reported, well, I guess Da Vinci, was reported stolen and taken to Italy by traitors to Mara sympathizers. France, once a cultural capital of the world, but had its heart sliced out by the new regime. The skies around Paris black with the, uh, the ash of thousands of burnt canvases. A small cost for the future. Lower factionalism? That's not bad. Uh, I do want to get the next one. Oh, rearmament gold. Oh, crap. 
More military factors in oh. Well, if we complete that, I get less factions and more stability anyway, so. Ah, oh, screw it. Screw the art XP and stuff like that. For now, at least. Hard suits. Razor Maidens. We might use those too, we'll see. Uh, logistics. Right? No. Can we, oh, there it is. Uh, edict on the past. Yet again, the Grand Marshal addresses the nation. The next edict of cultural reconstruction is the target of French's, France's past, uh, more specifically its bourbon heritage. During that, in an effort to further cement the absolute power of the state, has ordered the mass demolition of any buildings or monuments erected by former bourbon monarchy. The weakness of the former uh, emperor shall not be that of the new France. The state to assemble a crowd in Paris, not only this, but the former nobility of the French state, or at least those who have not already fled, are to be killed or detained. Over a hundred former civil servants, nobles, and pro-Bourbon business owners have been detained and been seemingly vanished, likely killed by the SP or the increasingly militant Doria youth clubs that have popped up throughout the nation. The world may never know that they existed. <coughs> Merchant employment, oh, I promise to keep. Yeah, we're just going to keep doing that stuff in this too. How many military factors do we have? Oh, we have 11, that's not enough. Year Zero. Dora announced from the balcony of his personal pal palace in uh, Paris that the beginning is of a new age where a globe under the French authority began. This would include the removal of the number of Anglo based works uh, and literature from French libraries, museums, and art galleries. He even went as far as to say that the calendar is poisoned by Anglo influence and that a new French calendar is needed. The start date of such a calendar commencing on this very day. A new France, a new Frenchman. What's not to love? And then, fun the steel works. With the need for the steel reaching new heights, we must address these requests with further expansions of the heavy industry area. The entire complex is dedicated towards the production of these refined materials will be newly opened. Edict on the future. As the cultural reconstruction feature reaches a fever pitch, the Grand Marshal has made his last edict on the matter, detailing his manifesto for the future of France. His plan is ambitious to say the least, and equally disquieting for those who he has declared his regime against. A series of laws are being implemented officially banning anyone of German heritage from public office or business ownership. Laws against France, uh, French not insignificant Jewish population has been enacted, with the Dorat regime declaring them as a racial fifth columnist to the French people. A couple of these new racial laws is a generation plan proposed by the regime intended to dramatically increase France's birth rate over the course of the next decade. The generation plan is intended to create an ethnically pure France with a population to outgrow Europe's German diaspora. Already, thousands of German, Jewish, and other minority groups have begun a mass exodus from France. Across the nation, German border communities and synagogues burns as we begin to enact the Grand Marshal's will. Tomorrow will belong to us, as it should. Uh, the edict on the church. I thought this we, we had the last one. Yet another victim of the cultural reconstruction has been France's majority religion, Catholicism. While the Dura faction of the FPF have previously maintained neutrality in their religious affairs, this was a compromise on the convenience rather than ideology. Citing pro Catholic policies of the now Persian Moros faction, the FPF, has set off a wave of violence throughout, the French, or France, throughout France against the Catholic Church in France in an effort to violently secularize the country. Speaking over the radio on the issue, the Grand Marshal declared the authority of the clergy entrenched by the weak monarchy is a danger to the mortal moral fortitude of the new French people. This phase of the Reconstruction has proved the most divisive to the French people, a plurality of which are Catholic or at least Christian. Significant resistance has come from the countryside, and many townships are under assault by the SP for the refusal to accept the new force secularization. In place of religion, the Dorat regime now begins to push a new doctrine of national worship, effectively attempting to craft their own religion out of reverence for the state and the French people. Condemnations have naturally been issued by both Naples and Frankfurt, with both governments offering to open their borders to religious refugees. The church shall be swept away, as with all things against a new state. As we're drastically working towards getting uh, new military factories too. Keep building up that civilian industry. We're going to need it. We are really going to need it. Fund them. Steel works though. And then, uh, since we need the factories anyways. I want to do the economic health stuff, but expand military investments. Or in industries. When a military requir requir or requests rifle after rifle, if we're to meet these demands, then we must expand our industrial capabilities. New military complexes dedicated to the production of war materials will be open. Nice. So now we should have enough. I want to make sure we get the Battleship Armor 2 as well, and then some more heavy guns, perhaps? Guns, 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 guns. Nice. No radar yet, but now I can actually make this, which is okay with me. And then we also have these cruiser holes that we do want to address as well, which we will definitely not have enough of. Which is going to suck a lot, but that's okay. Fire control is okay. Get some sonar. That's okay as well. Secondary batteries, 25. And that's all we can afford for now, which I'm not going to make yet because it sucks currently. Pretty much. And we're going to need a lot of divisions. I mean, a lot of divisions here. How are we doing in China? Supply is very bad. So, if that's the case, do we have any supply bases around here? No. That is not good. You can probably still do well there, though. 
Did you actually do well there, too? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. We'll see. Kind of sad and forget, you know, for the most part. Oh. Peace with honor. They lost nothing but but a few rice farmers? As far as the Far East administration will withdraw from Vietnam. Oh! We actually have to win! Hey! Fun boy! Hey boy! Chow! Boy chow! Boy chow! Chow boy! Hey chow boy! It's your boy here. Fun them steel works. Yes sir, dig sass not bad, but expand the military factories first. Mass military expansion. The list of requests only keep increasing. Every day new resources are needed to fuel the machines to keep our war economy running. That that and the machines themselves require expansion. New factories will be provided by the state. This time on a scale that should keep the military sustained for months to come. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. What is this? Mission generals. Oh, increases active state focus gap. Increased by one. Well, that's really good. Lower factionalism. I want more naval stuff, though. Ooh. Where are we at? 17. Military factories from occupation. We just gotta keep keep increasing them. Any more military factories? Free millies? No? Well, that's not good. Um, civvies, of course. Penal slavery. Unemployment goes down. Uh, of course, we'll do that one next. Which should get us over the edge, but we'll see. I do want to work on our economic health. How's that going along right now? Not bad. Promissory, promissory notes. Expanding your military industries come with a great financial cost. We'll get the burden of our economic sector. We shall establish a promissory system with France's, or France's top military contractors to ensure a steady supply of funds. Not a bad idea. Even without a lot of organization, you should, should still be able to do very well here. Nice. Right here is a supply base, which we need desperately right now. Good. Also, we want to make sure that we have another uh, army in the south, because it, the Italians will want to fight us, which is going to suck, 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 suck. It's good. Let's keep, keep him there for now. Um, any other generals that we really want? Yeah. Okay. You'll be good in defense, that's all I care about. We'll see. It is now 1934. Happy 34, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. We're going to need way more output, though. Way, 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 way more output. Radio? Radio. Divisions? Divisions. Yes. Um, uh, let's go back there for now. That's fine. Train. Train it basically indefinitely. Oh, that's a battle cruiser. Oh, that's not good. Mass military expansion. That's great. Uh, dig sites. Promissory notes. Do we complete it? Not yet. More than 24 military factories. We are at 23. So maybe we get up to there. I'll just rush through this stuff because we need to get this up anyway. So I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, we need more armor. We need way more artillery for what I want for our guys. Um, I might have even forgot to look at this stuff. Undercars, MREs, guns, civilian trains, which we are making, right? Trains, yeah. Sport equipment. Motorized. Do we have motorized? No, we don't have any motorized. That is a mistake. We may want some anti air as well. Go with three for there. Uh, that one too. Because after this one, we actually get this one done. We get more civilian uh, factionalism, which is great. Do we get the tile? No, you don't. Could force it. Oh, they're throwing more divisions, though. The French connection. Neatly filed in alphabetic order, the infrastructural report sitting in Louise's desk painted an optimistic picture for the future or the one responsible for the grand infrastructural plan of the government. <clears throat> With a single project here and there suffered from either bad weather, budget issues, or logistical problems, ranging from a lack of cement to a lack of lacking conditions for the penal workers, the grand picture showed an efficient and swift result. The French countryside, historically the periphery that lacked any connection to the great urban centers of France, had become more intertwined with the national. The cities themselves also got a piece of the cake, as a new railway project connected more and more of the parts of the country, all leading to the central heart of Paris. Louis turned away from his organized desk and opened up a panel in the walls, revealing a cool space between the walls where he had held a special bottle of champagne. He wasn't much of a drinker, but Louis recognized that, or Louis recognized a special occasion. The grand plan was destined to be succeed in the coming months, and he could perhaps enjoy a more prosperous future after a nice promotion for his hard work. All roads shall lead to Paris. Good. Keep building, 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 building. And... Yeah. We'll probably build some after this. Bloods, and patriotism. Our we come over here. Uh, a new France from the ashes. Yeah, let's do that one, too. As long as last French people stood up rejecting foreign ideals and old degeneracy, we're now in position to finally finish our vision of a reconstructed French society. Which would be great. So after we do this, we should have more cities, right? 
just force the attack. Because their strength is a what, 6%? Of course, it is mountains. That is not very helpful for us, but still. Nice. Excavation 1, not bad. We need more, we're going to need way more fuel, so just start working on some fuel stuff. It's fine. Uh, you guys can do here, too. Ooh, here. There you go. Train. Pretty much train until you die. And you, too. <clears throat> Revanche's fervor. No oh, horse would be nice. National fervor. Uh, France has long been denied its rightful place as the hegemon of Europe. The tragedy cannot stand. We must have dedicate ourselves to the restoration of French glory and dominance. Did we get it yet? No. Uh, four days left. We got four days left. We have 23, so. Did we get it? Oh, we did. Good. Hey, we got it. Yes. Nice. Awesome. You remember the goals? How do we get to Algeria? Huh. French settlements there. Ooh. I like that a lot. I promise to keep. Keep working on the unemployment. I'm pretty sure the generals will work on that later. Um, else? Oh, look at this. Oh, heavy industry planning. The need for heavy industry is at a critical level. Without the, with the employment crisis leaving millions of French without jobs and supply of cheap, eager laborers at all-time highs, so supply will, will graciously accept. Ooh. Other factors. Heavy industry there. In Rhone. In the Alps. Dig sites in Rhone. In the rain. This will barely affect unemployment. I mean, I like this stuff because it, it really helps you out with the unemployment here. 0.25. Mm, I thought even more I want more another naval guy though. We still need to get a naval guy. Oh, you should be doing some actual work here. So, national fervor is at twenty-one percent. Why is it so low? Oh, it goes down by one every month. That sucks. I want just fervor. Yeah. Hmm. Honestly, getting these done would probably be better, but we need naval guy. Naval dude. Okay. Carolinian legacy. More stability. Arch Catholic influences. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll keep going Neo Imperialists. Ooh, basic welfare state. Ooh. Parts look super good, though. Well, I'm gonna keep working on this way, too. <clears throat> Fuck these guys. Remilitarization of Lorraine. We're not really ready for that. Yeah, let's still do this one. Blood, sweat, and patriotism. Every French worker must know the role they plan on building a great nation, as well as the eventual subjugation of Europe and that any the, and any that dare stand in their way. Of course, sacrifice will be made, and some may even die, but that's only a small price to pay for the implementation of our grand ambitions, blood, sweat, and patriotism. So we fulfill this nation alone, and we have no need for anything else, or anything more, or anything less, really. You just go. Um, armor. I mean, I, I love the, that stuff there. Chief of the Air Force. These are all just infantry guys, so we need Navy. Not bad. <clears throat> just keep stacking bodies in this area here. For now. Pride in our work. Let me know. Should we do an industry that never sleeps? Versus pride in our work. Let me know in the comments below which one we should do. So. I'll leave that up to you. Dig size, electrification, we can do this one too. Much of our population still uses candles to light their homes as well as hosts of other old European technologies. Uh, products to go about their day to day lives. Or lives. Only the least have such technological privileges and will be ashamed to not share these wonders with the rest of our country. Well, there goes Algeria. Anything we can do about that? 4.4.5%. Claim Algeria. Oh my gosh, how much political power do we need for this? Okay, so I think that's really unfair to do. I might just cheat and give ourselves political power and then lower it as well. Really independent. I don't know. What the heck? That's stupid. You're going to send one division. Well, I won't send a horse boy then, if anything. This copy we saw was pretty good. <clears throat> okay, they defeated Algeria, no one cares. Yeah, I might do some funky stuff here because the beauty of innocence. It wasn't after that little Pierre walked through the streets of Paris, as his mom often found him too far young to do anything. However, today was a busy day due to a little problem mom had to do with the police, so Pierre was given a few francs and taken with the task of buying a loaf of bread. With a warm loaf in his few small hands, Pierre took the usual shortcut through an alley. 
Pierre, Pierre saw him. The large man in the coat sitting on the ground, his weary eyes pointing at little Pierre, either scared or hungry. Perhaps even both. Before Pierre fully understood the situation, the man started begging for some bread. Please, little man, I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten in days now, my stomach hurts. Pierre moved by his gesture towards some bread from the loaf, and it was about to hand it to the hungry man before noticing a small orange badge on his coat. Mom told Pierre those people with orange badges often in the bedtime stories she read for him. They were monsters hungering for little boys. He had seen that hunger in his eyes just a second ago, and he knew that he would be eaten. Pierre screamed. People from the busy streets swarmed in the small alley in seconds, calling for the police and pulling the man from the ground, tearing at his coat. When the police finally came over, the man with the orange badge was pulled out of the alley and into a black police car. Sitting in the back seat, the hungry man looked outside and saw the little boy he had asked for bread being comforted, crying about the hungry man that was going to eat him. Everything's going to be okay. As it should be. And then we'll go with labor camps. Uh, that's not bad. An economy of castes. People must know there's a place in French society where workers, engineers, scientists, and all will stay with their respected echelons. Those that are of no use will be put to work. Industry grunts that will provide the nation with cheap and ready supply of labor. But over here, nothing really helps us with uh, getting more daily army XP now, does it? Resistance target goes down. It's not bad. Yeah, nothing over here at all. People population would be nice. Get more arms factories, military reform rate. I don't know. Scorch Earth. More attack, less defense. But more defense. Uh. You, you know, up you goes down, huh? Speed, huh? Well, I don't want to leave. I want to circle these guys, but if we leave, we kind of lose. Um, it's fine for now. How do we leave? Ooh. That's not good. This is kind of dumb. Why are we fighting so many guys? Why do they have so many divisions and we have none? I knew we shouldn't have left. Well, they lost. That's so stupid! That's so stupid! What are we supposed to do about that? Ah! Ah! I don't like that. I really don't like that. Oh, gotta move guests. Gotta keep lowering the, the unemployment rate. Promote youth pioneers. I wanna keep doing this stuff just because it helps lower our unemployment. And getting this one done will be really nice. And we can always increase uh, factionalism and nationalism and stuff like that later, so. Oh, the Great Baltimore, yay! Need more of this, more of this, more of this, more of this. We will need. Oh my goodness. Quadrupods are slowly already making, not very many though. Great War Automat. Well, don't really honestly need that. Into War stuff, don't really care about that either. So. Romania. Allied with these guys. We don't like Bulgaria. We don't like hungry. Jacobins, no. Despotism, neo imperialists. Definitely send some guys to Romania. We can send three divisions, so. All but you, I guess. You don't send only that many groups. Actually, you know what? Just take you out then. Three. That'd be fine. They say yes. And you guys, we can send how many? Two? Not bad. Zinker. How many boys can we send? Uh, 126, not bad. We have still no fuel, which sucks, but whatever. Let's go there, and then I want to send some tactical bombers here, too. And the Chinese volunteers. Doing alright, I suppose. Have fun. Improved machine tools, 1934. Uh, fuel. That's so stupid. How's their superiority looking okay? Doing some bombings here and there? We'd like to see. Kind of a cast. Peculiar institutions. Uh, we lose political power, which we don't really want to lose too much right now, but we can still do that. Some may argue that slavery is immoral. Even though they advocate for the eradication of inferiors that show a certain disgust to the idea, the issue isn't process, though. It's only uh, its implementation. I cannot speak this episode at all, can I? 
fire stuff. Um, actually, yeah, that's fine. Anything else, secondary batteries. Now I can make these guys. Eventually. Nice. So I think the goal would be to eliminate maybe these guys first. For you guys to come over here. Hang out on the line. Just don't lose too much and you'll be okay. You guys, if you can become speed, it would be great. Can they pierce us? No. Oh, we're fighting over Ruru. That's why we're sucking so hard right now. I can sort of pierce us, so you know what? Let's not do that then. Let's go over here. And what else? Anything else? Anyone else we want to promote? Armor? Yeah. Cut throw? That'd be good. And kill your institutions. Okay, hey, look at that nice. Promise to keep. Sure, why not? We can start doing that. Is there anything else down here? Really not that I'm really concerned about. Air doctrine, we can kind of wait. Um, everything else, yeah, just start doing some of this stuff. There we go. The goal is to break over the river. A lot more army XP now, which is nice. And yay! And yay! Still get encircled, you ding dongs, please, for the love of God, please. Good, good, and good. There we go. All right. Well, you might start attacking them there. Kill off them Bulgarian boys. Up next, labor camps, synthetic fuels. Yeah, why not? Hot command has raised concerns over the France's rather lacking of a synthetic oil industry. It's been estimated even the Russian oil exports that our military best will be able to operate for a meager two years, three years that we ration reserves. This is simply unacceptable, and alternative outcomes must be found if we are to survive another bloody conflict. Recent, thankfully, recent advancements in the synthetic oil processing technology may be able to address some of these concerns. Which is great. Um. Oh, stuff up here. Oh, bulwark against socialism. <clears throat> France must stand as a bulwark against re revolution and Jacobinism. Jacobinism. First step towards this is public announcement of the royal opposition to socialist degeneracy. As it should. Economic health approves? Nice. Where are we at for economic health? Uh, where are we at for this stuff? we got plenty of manpower for now. You know, workday, basic welfare state, economic trade unions. Stagnant economy. We were on underperforming economy, so we got a little better now. Nice, not bad. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. Nice, good, 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 and they're dead, as they should be. Yes, we have these guys. We'll just go with this one. Oh, you really focus on subs, huh? All right, whatever. The only news is state news. Towns have been rough and tough. As Joseph lit another cigarette, Eugene looked right out the windows of busy Paris Street. Nobody likes a journalist, especially your government. That's why we had to keep our head low and not risk our neck for the truth. Joseph exhaled the smoke, making the already grim room a little bit more gray. I'd become a journalist to write what people wanted to hear, Joseph. I became one to F up some corrupt folk and uncover some unpleasant truths. Joseph laughed a bit before inhaling another cloud of smoke. A combination of laughing and coughing followed. Well, why don't you start with Jack Doriot? <clears throat> and see how long your neck will be attached to the rest of that young body of yours. It wasn't a wonder. Uh, Joseph was a defeatist as he was, but it was quite a contrast to a few years ago, when he had to pull the rug under the big politicians with democracy view still in place. Before Eugene could answer the Joseph's sarcastic remark, the sounds of cars door closing came from outside. In a few seconds, soldiers were at the doors of the building. As Joseph opened the door, he was pushed to the side of his own business, blood flowing out of his nose. Before a bit of that old spirit and Joseph could demand an answer out of the brute called a soldier. A man in the coat entered, Monsieur Joseph, I've come to inform you of some important information for the future of your little paper. If we could speak in your office under four eyes, that would be greatly appreciated. After a short 15 minutes, 
The man in the desk, or the dark coat, left the building with the soldiers. As the cars in the front of the building drove away, Joseph also came out of the office, defeated still with blood running down his lip. The Ministry of Media Relations has decided that we've released some threatening articles that jeopardize state security. We're now under new management. Let's have a read. Uh, but it could probably be nice. European Commonwealth? Carolingian Legacy? The modern French man is a proudly descended from the Frankish warriors who once spread across Europe, bringing civilization to the ungrateful Germanic barbarians. Whenever a possible sense of national pride, we should seek to both emulate the conquests of the Franks and encourage a sense of connection to them. European Commonwealth. The new Europe, as envisioned by Doriot, is economically integrated, with its political heart in Paris. As we advance towards the final conflict against the forces of the degeneracy, it's important that we lay the groundwork for the pan European project sooner rather than later. And the state that gives. Uh, I don't want to wait for that one. That's not worth doing right now. Of course, we'll still do the bulwark against communism or socialism. And this one is not bad. A purge of monarchist remnants? That's not bad. Yeah, why not? Well, monarchists proved a useful ally during the turbulent years of Doriot's regime, uh, or reign, there's no longer the case. Like Gap and Dogs, they demanded special privileges, they will receive no such thing. And so we shall mount a grand effort to rid our bureaucracy of those obese, demanding pigs, and in turn, our political situation will be finally solved. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll as well keep doing what the French do the best. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.